It's mailbag time. With no, wait, wait a minute, what's going on? Uh, this doesn't look like normal mailbag. Uh, yeah, and it's not because even though I've retained the mat, um, I've got a much bigger space because the mail that turned up looks like that. What is this about? Well, long time subscriber and often commentating on the 230 odd videos that I've done is Steve. Uh, and Steve has sent me a box of things. And uh, in fact, I've got the, the big Stanley knife here because the little one, I don't think it's going to cut it. So give me a few minutes uh, or possibly hours to open this and then we'll see exactly what he has sent. Can you see that? Let me see if the focus is good. Oh my God, Steve, this is incredible. Uh, I'm gonna take everything out and see if we can get a little bit closer to the action, but this is a treasure trove that he sent through. It's so good. Look at all this stuff. It's like Christmas in June. Um, yeah, let me take it all out and now uh, we'll see what we've got. Well, I thought I had enough room on the bench for Steve's generosity, but I was mistaken. Uh, I've laid out some stuff, but if I pan to the right, <laughs> there's some more there. Uh, oh, my God. So I think uh, I'll just quickly go through what I can maybe see and recognise from this. It's incredibly generous. I think Steve's just gone from a subscriber to a benefactor. This is incredible. And the big ticket item uh, is this oscilloscope. Let's see if I can focus on that so uh siglin what is it sds 1102 dl plus digital storage oscilloscope what a gorgeous looking beast so those of you who've been following the channel for a while would know that i struggled along without an oscilloscope for a while and then i got one of those cheap and nasty uh digital ones from aliexpress got a couple of them actually uh actually won one of them uh in a competition from pcb way at one stage uh, and then managed to salvage a um, an analog uh, guy from um, from work. Uh, they were throwing away some old old oscilloscopes, and that that really was a bit of a game changer. But this one, hundred megahertz, um, beautiful digital uh, oscilloscope is just brilliant. I think what we'll try and do in this uh, mailbag is to maybe hook that up to a signal generator and just see the trace would be lovely. But let's have also have a look now at some of the stuff that Steve sent through. I'll, I'll hopefully be able to recognize some of it. Got some ESP 32s at the front there. That also looks like an ESP 32. And Steve, if you're lurking in the comments here, mate, uh, feel free to jump in. Um, and then we've got, uh, more, uh, where are we? We've got more, well, that's an ESP possibly 8266 sitting on the Arduino form factor. Another ESP32 or possibly that might be 8266 behind it. What I'll do is I'll split all of this up and we might do Steve's mailbag part 1 through to 27 at some stage. Just incredible. Um, I mean, for instance, uh, you know, those of you who are following the Dirty Dozen series and uh, and then... I boxed it up. It, it will come back as well, but I think this is going to take over as um, yeah, as the mailbag extraordinaire. Just incredible. There's uh, a heap of uh, Arduinos here, including the Mega and uh, some Unos at the back there. Uh, this one here from memory is uh, about dialing up uh, current and voltage. Um, that guy I don't recognize. An ESP32 inside the bag there. Um, what have we got more? Let's look, maybe ESP8266 at the back. There's an ESP32 cam. Um, there looks like a board suitable for a nano. And uh, there's a camera there. Looks like maybe SBI camera. Um, various modules and boards. Some more um, IoT boards there. Oh, this little guy here, they are so handy. So that's uh, a component tester, uh, which is brilliant. 
Uh, looks like a board, a shield there that you would put onto an Arduino. It's, a, it's got a buzzer and maybe a temperature humidity sensor there. A couple of ESP32 um, modules and boards behind there. Inside the box there are Nanos and more Unos. Um, there's more Unos in this box. I've not heard of Lonely Binary before, so I'll, I'll look that up. But that's mostly Arduino stuff there um, in that corner. Various manuals and probes that Steve has sent through as well. Just incredible. I mean, almost impossible to really get a handle on uh, on the generosity here, Steve. So good. Uh, but I'm really keen to fire up that digital oscilloscope. So let's put everything not oscilloscope related back in the box uh, and see what that oscilloscope looks like. Very keen. Well, apologies for the one hour delay. Uh, that's how long it took me to find my little signal generator here. Very handy beast. This one comes from the Technoblogy site. Probably built it about three or four years ago, I guess. Uh, in the uh, in buried in there is an A tiny eighty five doing its DDS stuff. Um, lovely little display. Very easy to drive. So let's give it uh, five. Oh, should turn this on first. Okay. So I hear a fan. And uh, some lights have gone on, always a good sign. No smoke coming from it, which is fantastic. Beautiful looking uh, oscilloscope. Must have gone through some sort of um, boot up because it's, we've now got a signal here, or, or should I say a display. So now if I give this five volts through that, oh, hopefully that's all the connections are right. Let's have a look. Can I, oh, here we go. Oh. Um, so this has 100 hertz on here. I don't know what that's doing. There is an auto button, so let me just press that and see what happens. Oh, yeah, look how cool is that. Uh, so this thing says it's 100 hertz. That thing says it's 100 hertz. Um, not much more you could want from that. I think you can change the signal if I just press the button here. Uh, oh, it's gone off. Yeah, this is very dodgy power, very dodgy setup. Let's try this again. So let's go. So there's triangle, uh, sawtooth, square wave, all still at 100 hertz, measuring fine. Um, all sorts of little things. I can't remember actually all the different types of signals that this one produces. Well, that's a nice wacky one. And uh, oh, it just produces noise as well if you need that. And back to the sine wave. Yep. And what we should probably do is, I guess, dial up also. I think the limits of this thing is, oh, it's not high. It's certainly not going to get up into the megahertz, I wouldn't think. Uh, what's it reading now? 370, 490. Let's go over at least the one kilohertz and see what's going on. See how good the signal is. Let's go to two kilohertz, maybe. So that's, that's 2100. Uh, and we'll press this guy again and see what we can come up with. Oh, noisy signal. Yeah, so that's the limitations of the A-Tiny 85, not the uh, oscilloscope. That's a beautiful signal, actually. Uh, it is saying 2.135 kilohertz, and this is saying 2.1 kilohertz. So, yeah, that's uh, as far as the accuracy of, of the uh, signal generator is concerned. Um, yeah, that's a pretty good output. This is a beautiful, beautiful oscilloscope. Thank you so much, Steve. Uh, if you appreciate what Steve has done here, which is way uh, above and beyond, please leave a comment for him in the comment section. I'm going to call that uh, the circuit working for this week. Um, yeah, what a, what a great um, what a great surprise, uh, a great mailbag, and many more mailbags to come. See you next time.